Happy Sunday, everybody. I am Pastor KZ with the All About Favor channel. This is your word for today. I found an illustration, and it was by Pastor Rick Mobley, and I'd like to share this illustration with you. There was a tourist who visited a famous landmark while he was on vacation. He looked over this vast body of water. He was looking into the ocean. And as he was looking out, he walked along and walked on the pier. And he saw an older gentleman there sitting there fishing. And this is the word, this is what he asked the gentleman. He said, Pops, do you think if I jumped off this pier into the ocean, I'm gonna drown? The old man said, no. You won't drown. And he said, you don't think if I jumped off this pier in this deep ocean, and I don't even know how deep the water is, you don't think I would drown? And the old man said again, no, nah, you won't drown. And then he went on a little bit further. He said, young man, y'all pay attention to what I'm about to say. Falling into the water isn't what drowns people. It's staying under the water that drowns people. Think about that. Think about that. Falling in the water is not what's going to cause you to drown, but staying under the water will cause you to drown. See, the old man says, son, in life you make choices, and sometimes you jump in deep water and you regret it because now your ability to swim becomes an issue. I want to leave you with this thought, y'all. Tell me what you think about this. It's saying, for somebody watching in particular today, there are some regrets that come into our lives because we looked at the ocean but we didn't explore how deep the ocean was. We didn't explore how deep the water was. So we jumped in the ocean without knowing specific details of the depthness of it. Anybody, y'all with me so far? You didn't explore it. We make mistakes, y'all. And sometimes we desire certain things and we jump into certain things that we do not pray about and we don't seek the Most High God's advice. We just jump in and we don't have the details. We don't have the facts. We jump in something and then we regret it once we get in or we get in something that's deep and we don't know how to swim our way or float our way to the top, to the surface. Now, y'all, we make mistakes based on sometimes our desires. Sometimes we want things that God has definitely said no to, and we still chase after it. Sometimes we want things to line up with what we want, but you end your prayers with, let your will be done. How are you saying, let your will be done, but what if the will that is to be done is not what your desire is, yet you jump out in something still? So you know what happens? Now it goes back to that illustration I used the other day about you jumped into a box, an empty box, and in that box, you don't know what's inside other than nothing. You stepped out what you thought was on faith. But you still cannot understand why things not working out. Because sometime, y'all, the answer from the Most High is no. You've got to learn how to, there's a song the, the late, great LaShawn Pace has. Learn to accept what God allows. Sometimes he does not allow certain things to manifest for you because he already knows the depth of the ocean. You don't know it. You're just jumping in something because it's a desire you have. And then you get have regrets. See, there are some regrets that come into our lives because we looked at the ocean, didn't explore the depthness, and 
it did not, we didn't walk in it using common sense or we didn't look at it from a spiritual perspective. We have regrets when we allow other people to make decisions for us regarding our lives. I just spoke a word to somebody watching today. You have allowed other people, and I did a series on this a couple of weeks ago about allowing other people to speak into and over your lives. You have allowed someone else to speak over your life or to make a decision about your life and now you got regrets you done let them tell you or talk you into something and you done jumped out there in the ocean and now you worrying about am I going to sink or am I going to swim the real issue is not whether or not you have regrets because we all have regrets at some points we all sometimes make choices and decisions that we don't pray about but when you learn better y'all you got to do better see the question is will you use the regrets to change the course of action for your future or for your current state regret does teach you some things regret teaches you lessons and you've got to learn the lesson from them don't beat yourself up you got to learn how to truly walk by faith and not by sight you've got to trust god to order your steps and you've got to understand just because you can access the ocean it doesn't mean what's in the ocean is for you you don't have to jump out into everything because someone else thinks that's a good choice for you You've got to pray about it. You've got to make sure you're compatible. You've got to make sure things are lining up with God's word for you. Live your best life. And as the old man said, it's not about falling in the ocean or jumping in the ocean. It's how you're going to get to the top. You're not going to drown unless you really just jump in there and you don't know how to swim. And I'm just saying this, who does that? Sometime, y'all, you pray about things, but you don't trust God enough. You try to get in there and fix it. You try to work it out. You sing a song called Jesus Can Work It Out, but you don't really believe he going to work it out because you decide you're going to try to help the master. Sometimes you got to sit back and wait and watch and let the Most High God do it without your help because all you're going to do is stir it up and get it messed up. Trust him. Walk by faith, not by sight. We all have regrets, but stop jumping out into things based on bad decisions and decisions other people tell you that would be good for you. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday. Always walk in favor. Don't give up. God can turn anything around. He can turn a situation around by midnight tonight, y'all. Don't give up. I don't know about you, but in my spirit, I truly feel him turning things around for somebody today. Y'all be blessed. Be a blessing to others. Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day.